All right, so there's the point I'm shooting for. I'm pretty sure of it now. The one way off in the distance, the, the silhouette, uh, before you see nothing but a, a light, uh, light gray background there. That's the other side of the lake. Um, on the far side, that's out towards partial and all that. So that point is where what I'm trying to get around, and you should be able to see that. Maybe not, but nothing but white caps between me and that point, and it's in my face. And there's a storm coming. It's going to be here at around 4, 4:30. They told me, and uh, the winds are kicking up. The white caps are getting bigger. The chops getting worse off the bays, and I'm getting in. I'm pulling into Skunk Bay, uh, I'm three or four miles from the point still, I think, uh, for those of you who keep track of that, um, and uh, I, I, I can see the point, that's what I can see, and uh, I'm not there yet, and I'm not going to make it today, uh, I, I'm going to try and not set up my tent and see what happens, but if it storms up at 4.30 or so, I'm going to be laying down for the night and hopefully get out bright and early tomorrow before the wind comes because it'll be in my face if I'm going towards the point from this direction. But once I round the point, it'll be at my back and uh, take me a good long way tomorrow. So I have to make the point early or I'm going to be fighting wind all day and, uh, and may not accomplish what I want to. And I really want to get boogieing around uh, towards the dam uh, tomorrow. Point south as much as I can, and then uh, the next day the wind's gonna be at my back, and I will fly eastward. Uh, that's the plan. But anyway, getting pinned down again, and uh, but Skunk Bay has a welcoming party already, so <laughs> can you, can you, 